Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to dockerize a Spring Boot application. Well, dockerizing Spring Boot application means we are going to basically create a docker image for our Spring Boot application and then we will run a docker image in a docker container. Okay? So, as usual, we are going to implement this tutorial step by step and here are the development steps. So first, we're going to create a Spring Boot application. Next, we build a simple REST API. So we are going to build a simple REST API because we need to test our Spring Boot application deployment in a Docker container, right? For that, we build a simple REST API. Next, we create a Docker file. So basically, we need a Docker file uh, to build a Docker image. So basically, Docker file contains a set of instructions or native Docker commands to build a Docker image, okay? So once we create a docker file, then we build a docker image by using docker file. Okay, so once we build a docker image, then we run that docker image in a container. Okay, docker, docker container. And then we will see working demo. Okay, so these are the very simple steps guys. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's first create a Spring Boot application. So I am going to use IntelliJ IDEA to create Spring Boot application and build simple REST API okay so let's go and let's create a spring boot application so in order to create a spring boot application we are going to use spring initializer so let's head over to browser and just type spring dot the start dot spring dot io so this will bring up spring initializer okay so go ahead and choose project type as a marvin here and language java and let's keep spring boot version 2.5.4 and here we need to fill up the project metadata so i'm going to give group id as net.java guides and artifact id is nothing but our project name so let's do project name as spring boot docker demo and artifact id name name is same as artifact id so let's keep name as spring boot docker demo description let's do demo project for spring boot and docker packaging name Package name as net.java.springboot. Okay, and packaging keep jar, Java version keep 11. And we are going to choose a dependency that is Spring Web dependency to create a simple REST API. Alright, that's it, guys. And you can explore this Spring Boot project by you know by choosing this explore option. So you can quickly explore the project structure. And the dependencies in a pom.xml all right so let me close this and we are going to generate this project by using generate button over here so go ahead and click on generate so this will create spring boot application as a zip file and it will you know download on a file system so go ahead and open in a folder and just unzip this zip file okay so once we unzip our spring boot application we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA to import this Spring Boot application. So head over to IntelliJ IDEA and in IntelliJ IDEA click on open to open existing project. So just go to the location where your Spring Boot application is present. So my Spring Boot application is present in downloads folder. So I will go, I will go to downloads folder here and Spring Boot Docker demo. Okay, just open in a IntelliJ IDEA. Alright, once Spring Boot application is imported in IntelliJ IDEA, let's go ahead and let's create a simple REST endpoint. So go to main endpoint class. Okay, and here just add at rest controller annotation to make this class as a Spring MVC controller. And here we're gonna create a simple REST API. Public string, let's say the method name is something like uh, welcome okay and let's simply return the string let's say spring boot docker demo something like this and let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to just handle the get request and let's give a rest endpoint url something like uh, welcome okay just go ahead and save this file and let's quickly run this spring boot application and let's verify our spring boot application is 
you know working as expected and uh, we'll test this rest api first So look at here our Spring Boot application is up and running in an embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. So let's head over to the browser. In a browser just type localhost 8080 slash welcome hit enter and there we go. Alright we got a response of this REST API it means that we have created a Spring Boot application and we have you know built a simple REST API. Okay simple welcome REST API. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to build our Spring Boot application uh, as a jar file. For that, go to Marvin here and just define the goal Marvin package to package our Spring Boot application as a jar file. Okay, so this will take a couple of seconds to build a Marvin uh, project. So let's wait a couple of seconds, guys. So look at here, uh, Marvin build is success. Now let's head over to target folder and within target folder you can able to see here Spring Boot Docker demo jar file is generated. Okay. Now so far we have created a Spring Boot application. We have built a simple REST API and we have created a jar file of our Spring Boot application. Okay. Now we have prepared the setup. Next step is we are going to create a Docker file and define the setup instruction to build a Docker image. Okay, so in order to create a docker file, we need to go to our Spring Boot application root directory. Okay, so let me minimize this and go to Spring Boot application root directory, right click on it, new and then choose file. So this is a text file and let's define a docker file name as docker file. So make sure that you will give docker file name as same as like this. Okay, and D capital. Hit enter. So within this docker file, we are going to provide a setup instruction to build a docker image. Okay. So just remember a docker image can have another docker image as its base, uh, you know, base image or parent image. Okay. Now here we need to define a base image for our, uh, you know, docker image. Let me just write the comment here. Base docker image okay so define base docker image so we're gonna use a java java as a docker image because we need to run our spring boot application jar file using java right so for that here we use from keyword to define the base package i mean the base uh, docker image okay so here i'm gonna write open jdk followed by colon and its version 11 okay so this is the base docker image or parent docker image that we are going to use all right guys so once we define the base image next what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use a label instruction to just define the maintainer for our docker image so go ahead and just write label maintainer and followed by the maintainer name so in my case i just written javagate.net but in your case you can write your name okay so here we just maintaining i mean providing some metadata for our docker image okay so here we just provide a maintainer name here okay so after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this jar file that we generated under target folder into a docker image okay for that we use add instruction and then we need to define the source source is target and name of the jar file so let me copy this name refactor rename okay and i want to just copy the jar name and provide here so this is our source and the destination is docker image so we can give docker image uh, name something like docker i mean spring boot docker type on demo dot jar so this instruction will basically copy the jar file 
from the location that is target spring boot docker demo dot jar to this docker image okay so once we copy our jar file in the docker image so next instruction is entry point okay so this entry point instruction we configure and we tell a docker that how this application is going to run or execute in a docker container all right so here we're going to define the array and we define the commands like java and uh, we need to define the option that is hyphen jar followed by the image name so this is the image name right so just copy it and paste it in a double quote okay so if you remember uh, in a command line we run our spring boot application by using the command java hyphen jar and then jar name right so similarly in docker container we are going to run uh, our spring boot application jar file using this uh, this configuration okay great just save the file all right we have defined a setup instruction in a docker file now we're gonna we're gonna build a docker image by using this docker file so in order to build a docker image we need a docker so make sure that you have installed docker and your docker is running in your machine so i am using mac operating system so i can able to see here docker desktop is running so if you are using uh, windows or any other operating system so make sure that a docker is running next go to the terminal so if you are using windows then make sure that you open a command prompt let me maximize the font and go to the spring boot application root directory so here we are moving to spring boot you know docker demo application directory because our docker file is located under spring boot docker demo project right that's why we are you know moving to this directory so just make sure that you are in a spring boot application root directory okay now we have a docker file with all the setup instruction to build a docker image so let's go ahead and let's you you know type the docker command docker build followed by hyphen t for tag and let's give a docker uh, image name as spring boot hyphen docker demo and here we can define the tag like something like latest okay and then dot so here dot defines that our docker file is present in a current directory okay if you can go to uh, IntelliJ idea you can see that docker file is uh, you know are present under spring boot docker demo okay that's why we have provided dot here it means that our docker file is present in a current directory now go ahead and hit enter so this will create a docker image okay so basically this will build a docker image so if you can see the instructions here load build defined from docker file and then you can see the steps so look at here the open jdk element is uh, you know pulled from the uh, from the docker registry and stored in a uh, stored in a local uh, docker images and you can see here second step added this jar file into a docker image okay now if you can uh, check whether a docker image is created or built or not for that just type the command docker images and here you can see spring boot docker demo images successfully created and you can see here the tag latest and this is image id and just created you know in 36 seconds okay so if you can compare uh, this this image with a command here so latest means a tag okay and spring boot docker demo it is the uh, it is the docker image name okay i hope you understood the command now docker build and then hyphen t means tag followed by docker image name and then tag name and then dot means the docker file is present you know in a current directory okay guys great now once we build a docker image we need to run a docker image in a docker container 
for that let's go ahead and let's type the command docker run and here we're going to map the port for that hyphen p and i'm going to just use the port 8081 you can use any port guys so i'm just going to map a port 80812 80, so our spring boot application by default run in embedded embedded tomcat server which will run on port 8080 so in order to run the conflicts so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use different port here let's say 8081 and followed by the docker image name so docker image name is spring boot hyphen docker demo okay hit enter So look at here spring boot application is running in a tomcat server which is running on port 8080 but we have mapped the port 8081 with 8080 so let's head over to the browser and in a browser just type localhost 8081 slash welcome and hit enter and there we go spring boot docker demo it means that we have successfully I you know built a docker image of our spring boot application and we have successfully run a docker image in a docker container all right guys very simple isn't it so let me recap what we have done we have created a spring boot application and we have built a simple rest api okay that is welcome rest api and after that we have you know marvin built our spring boot application and generated a jar file in a target folder next what we have done we have created a docker file and we have defined a set of instruction to build a docker image and within a docker file we have defined the base image that is open jdk one and we have added a metadata that is a maintainer for this image and we have uh, you know create we have added add instruction to just add a jar file to the image and then we have added entry point configuration to just tell docker that how uh, this spring boot application is going to run in a docker container okay so this is basically a command all right guys so after that what we have done we have used a docker docker build hyphen t then followed by docker image name and then tag name and then dot so this is the command to build a docker image okay so after that what we have done we have just verified whether a docker image is you know created and uh, stored in a locally or not by using docker images command after that we have used the command docker run hyphen p and the and we have mapped the port and then followed by docker image so this is the command to run the docker image and after that we have tested our uh, you know spring boot application deployment in a docker container uh, from the browser by using the url localhost 8081 slash welcome it means that our spring boot application is successfully running in a docker container all right guys very simple steps i hope you understood how to build a docker image up for the spring boot application and how to run a docker image in a docker container all right guys thanks for watching this tutorial uh, let me know if you have any queries in the comment section if you are new to this channel uh, consider subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys thanks for watching